welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java project which is entitled as efficient regular language search for secure cloud storage in this project we can see the system architecture <coughs> where we have the entities data owner cloud server data user and the kgc that is the key generation center so here you can see the data owner uploads a file to the cloud server with encrypted keywords and user can search the data is available in the cloud server using only the search token so for the security purpose and uh, even for accessing the files the KGC will be providing the public and uh, private key pass to the data owners and the data users and uh, let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project in Java NetBeans 8.2 and MySQL as a database and for the cloud we have used DriveHQ so here the f up the files will be uploaded in the DriveHQ cloud service this is a free service and please note that we are not going to completely host the our project into here deploy it in the cloud we are going to save the data that is upload the data in the cloud server let us see the execution of the project So this is the home screen welcome screen of the project with the project title efficient regular language search for secure cloud storage and the abstract of the project with the project abstract which is mentioned in the base paper and here you can see the entities data owner data user cloud and KGC. So now first I will go with the <coughs> data owner. So before uploading sorry we, uh, before executing the project you need to stop your antivirus or firewalls in case if you're having because it will be blocking the 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 keys that we are going to send it through the email so stop it temporarily so that you will not be getting any issues while running so let me stop it for one hour And now go for the data owner so in the data owner login this is the data owner login and as I am a new data owner I'll be registering by clicking register so let me enter the name as JP InfoDeck as the data owner and the mail ID as JP InfoDeck projects at gmail.com And please note that have a valid email ID here because we'll be receiving the emails through this email ID only the keys. And then click sign up. So now you can see the registration is success and click OK. Now I'll log in into the data owner with the entered username and the password and click login and here you can see the login is failed because once if the data owner is registered can directly cannot uh, the user cannot enter into that uh, service because the KGC should give an approval of it so here you can see the KGC should distribute the keys so just log into the KGC I'll show you it and click login and this is the welcome screen of the KGC here in the KGC you can see view owners view users view user request and logout so now I have created only the owner so let us go to the view owner part and here you can see the username JP InfoTech which was created now and 
click approve so once if you click approve it is been approved the kgc has approved this user so log out now i'll go to the data owner part and log in as the username and the password and click login now you can see the login is successful because the kgc has approved this so hereby the data owner can be able to log into this part so now here you can see this is the welcome screen of this data owner and here the data owner has the options of uploading file upload view files view secret key request and log out so this is the option and this is right now i have not uploaded any file so it is empty and there is no any request so that is it is empty so let me go to the file upload part so first i'll create a sample file so i'll go to the any drive so i'll go to the d drive and i'll create here for example cloud demo 2021 so let me create with this project name itself <coughs> so and save it so i'm going to upload this file now to the cloud go to the d drive and cloud demo 2021 so click that one and you can enter the file keywords here so let me upload as file demo 2021 and click upload and now you can see the file is uploaded successfully and now you have go to the view files In the view files you can see the the record owner name that is the jp infotech the file id the file name the encrypted file keyword so here in the base paper you can see the user the data owner and uh, upload the file with the encrypted keyword so you can see those encrypted keywords here the uploaded time the decryption key now as i mentioned earlier the files will be uploaded in the cloud so just go to this this is the localhost we have seen now i'll, I'll show you the cloud part so just i'll refresh here and now here you can see cloud demo 2021.txt which is uploaded in the same date and time you can check it out and click it and you can see the encrypted content because the the play the original content will not be displayed for the security purpose and and you have seen that this part is that is we have uploaded in the cloud part so now we will log out here and now go to the data user part so in the data user part i'm going to create a new user for example say i'm going to create a username called prakash with my email id and click sign up <coughs> the registration is successful and in the data user part now if you log in with the same registered username and the password you can see the login is failed as i already told you the same scenario for the data user also as we done in data owner the kgc should give an approval so go to the kgc part so in the kgc you can see view users here you can see the user that i created now prakash with those details and click approve and here you can see it is approved and click log out here in the email you can see the data user registration has been approved you can see the mail received as data user registration is approved here in this mail that is jp16586 that is the data user and already the earlier we have registered the data owner part that is five minutes ago you can see the data owner's registration has been approved so both the emails has been received 
and now with the data user I'll log in with the data user that we have created and click login and here you can see this is the welcome screen of the user and as per our concept you can see the data user should uh, have a search token to search the files in the cloud server so here you can see the search token option and here you can see uh, what other uh, to get the token you wanted to click it click token and please note that this search token is not a permanent it is a temporary search token where it gets updates in a regular period of time interval period that is for example to say five minutes of time for the security purpose so that the intermediates or hackers cannot able to access the file token so they could uh, dynamically update the file tokens here so just click the file get token so you can check your email where you will be receiving the file token so you can see the file token is it is valid for five minutes only this is the for this username and now you go for the search file so here you can enter the file name for example say cloud demo 2021 i am entering some random number and click search here you can see incorrect search token okay so you need to enter the correct search token so i'll enter the correct search token and click here you can see the data owner that who has uploaded this file and file id the uploaded time and everything now go to the request secret key with the file name of it so here enter the file name and click request and now you can see uh, the user id who is going to request and to the data owner and click request for security so now you can see the request has been sent so once if, if they they get the reply here they can see the view request for secret key that is view secret key so let me go to the data owner and check the approval of it and go to the view secret request earlier i have shown you that this was empty because there was no request now there was a request from the user this user with the file id so once if this data owner gives an approve the file will be approved and now if you log into the data user part and log in the data user part where you can see the view secret key so here you can see the user has been the data owner has approved the the data users request so they, they have got this so get secret key click here to get the secret key and once if you click you can check your email that is secret key has been sent go to the download part so you can see decrypt and download so here you can see the file id the file the encrypted content so if you wanted to decrypt the content you wanted to have a decryption key so you can check your email here you can see the username the the file secret key just copy this and use this key here and decryption key and click download and here you can see now i'm downloading to the desktop part so the content that i have uploaded has been decrypted and given to the data user in a secure manner and now log out i'll go for the cloud part click login and the cloud part you can see view cloud files so these are the files that are available in the cloud and you can see the data owners so there are two data owners and view data users so here you can see the data users who are all available and the final part is the performance analysis where you can see the performance analysis with the encryption time so the existing system takes more time 
and that's you can see the proposed system has the lesser encryption time and you if you wanted to save this data you can print or save as jpeg or save as png and this is all about the project efficient regular language search for secure cloud storage and thank you for watching